graph and x-axis. So now we are learning everything related to the graph and the intersection. So in, in this case, we need to find the range of value of n for which a straight line y equal to x minus n does not intersect a curve with this. So does not intersect means b squared minus 4ac is less than 0, means that does not have any roots. So in this case, we have this equation, we make it equal to 1 and apply into d2, which is y plus x squared equal to 3x minus 3, and we take this as 2. So we know that 2x minus n plus x squared equal to 3x minus 3. So this is not a general form. Make it a general form. So x squared minus x minus n plus 3 equal to 0. And your a will be 1, b is negative 1, c is negative m plus 3. Alright, so apply into the formula here, b will be negative 1 squared minus a, which is 1, and c is negative m plus 3 less than 0. So this is 1 plus 4m minus 12 less than 0, 4m minus 11 less than 0. 4m will be less than 11 and m will be less than 11 divided 4. So this is the range of values of m. Next, we will go to this question which is a straight line tangent to the curve. When we talk about tangent, it means that there is only one root. So whatever we do with this straight line, we are applying the simultaneous methods. So to this extent, we are making this y equal to tx minus 9 equal to 1, y equal to x squared equal to 2, sub 1 into 2. So we will have tx minus 9 equal to x squared. And this is not general form. So what we do is to change it into general form. So your a will be 1, b will be negative t, and c is your 9. Apply all the value of a, b, c into this formula. You'll be getting this answer. So, and you need to find the possible values of t. So negative t squared, you will get t squared minus 36 equal to 0. So open the bracket over here. So you know that t and t, 36 is 6, and 6, you have plus minus here because there is no middle over here. So this is 60, this is negative 60, so 60 minus 60 will get 0, so there is no middle over here. So t plus 6 equal to 0, t equal to negative 6. Same goes to here, t minus 6 equal to 0, t equal to positive 6. This is how you get two value of t, and it is confirmed that there is two values. Now, the straight line is intersect the curve at two distinct points. Two distinct points means there is two roots, and it is more than zero. So y equal to 2x minus p, we make it as 1, and y plus 2x equal to x squared minus we take this as 2. So we sub 1 into 2. We know that 2x minus p plus 2x equal to x squared minus 3. So 2x, 2x, we have 4x minus p here equal to x squared minus 3. Bring everything to one side to make it a general form. You will have this equal to 0. Alright, so I bring everything on the left side to the right side. So I know that a is in 1 b is negative 4, and c is p minus 3. Alright, so apply all the a, b, c value into the formula. So you have negative 4 squared minus 4 a, c, and more than 0. So 16 minus 4 p plus 12 more than 0. So negative 4 p plus 28 more than 0. And 28 
more than 4p and 28 divided 4 more than p 7 more than p and p less than 7 all right so this is how you get the answer one case over here that i would like to emphasize is can i bring the 28 to the this side yes so you have negative 4p more than negative 28 and p you divide with a negative so this is negative and this is negative 28 divided 4 you will still have negative p more than negative 7 to eliminate the negative type with negative 1 you have to change the sign and make it into positive so this is how you do all right